Nancy Kra, June 14, 2018, 11.15 a.m. After a career that has often defied genres, Dawn Lanz is now staking her claim in Nashville music but Dawn thinks she hasn't arrived without some hefty country credentials. An actual coal miner's daughter from Kentucky, she grew up listening to Loretta Lynn. Once entered a Dolly Parton tribute competition and for her new album, she attracted the participation of three country music hall of famers. 10. But Lance 37 is offering a sneak peek in a video for the song Traveling, debuting exclusively on People Meet Me at the River ISNT set for release until August. Here are five things to know about the singer-songwriter who visited Nashville to make her album and ended up sting. The twang in her voice comes naturally. Don Lance Shervin minus one. Lance calls it a lilt, but she says people have always thought I had a twang in my voice. And my parents were always like, where did that come from? A native of Indiana, she grew up mostly in Kentucky. Loretta Lynn once actually came to sing at the coal mine where her father worked. After graduating from New York University, Lynn stuck around in the city to become part of its folk music scene and to build a career as a producer and sound engineer. She's attracted to the vintage Nashville country politan sound, too. Lenz's musical output five albums over the past 13 years is an eclectic assortment of indie rock, folk and pop sounds including an entire album sung in French. But she's always been attracted to the lush sounds and legendary artists who came out of country in the 1960s. About four years ago, with more than a little bit of Dolly's register in her voice, she came in second at an annual competition in Sevierville. I did it on a whim, she says, Tennessee, that honors pardon songwriting. My friend dared me to enter it. Tennessee continued to beckon and after traveling to Nashville for songwriting sessions, Lenz decided a couple of years ago that she had to record her own country politan album. That's what I was going for, but I didn't know how to get it myself, she says. I thought it would be great to work with someone who was sort of entrenched in the long ago scene. I went straight to the source, Don Lance Shervin minus three. She talked a country legend out of semi-retirement to produce the album. Determined to produce an authentic sound, Lance set her sights on Fred Foster, the Hall of Fame member who was pivotal in the careers of Parton. Now 86, Foster H.A.D.N.T. produced an album since 2007 and that one featured country deities Merle Haggard and Ray Price, Roy Orbison and Chris Christopherson. So what made him say yes? Part of it was persistence on my end, she says, but she finally won him over with her songwriting skills. Boldly, Lenz called Cold Foster to plead her case. Together, they spent hours polishing the songs before she ever entered the studio. Foster then assembled a wazoo list of studio musicians. Even Hall of Fame artist Bobby Bear dropped by to serve as a sly foil on a duet including Hall of Famer Charlie McCoy. Lenz now has a bona fide Loretta Lynn connection. 4. After moving to Nashville last year, Lenz answered a Craigslist ad and ended up buying a blue pickup from Lenz music director, Bart Hansen. They have since become friends and Hansen can be seen playing guitar over Lenz's right shoulder in the traveling video. For that matter, the pickup is in the video too, as well as a lyrical mention of Loretta on the radio at Hansen's behest. Lance recently home recorded a video greeting to Lynn whom Hansen visits weekly while she recuperates from a stroke and a broken hip. She sent me one back. Lance marvels. Can you believe that? I have a video of Loretta saying hello to me and I hope you have a good day. I love it so much. Don Lance Shervin minus five. Or, more formally, the prestigious Johnny Mercer Riders Colony, where both received grant in 2015 to work on full-length musicals. She met her husband at music camp. Husband Creighton Irons is an accomplished musical composer and an incredibly supportive spouse who can be seen on the keyboard in the traveling video. He also plans to join Lance on stage for at least a portion of the U.S. and European tour shall be on through October to support the album. Whether their one-year-old daughter, Kellen, will be with them or with her grandparents has yet to be determined. But she's already well acquainted with Mom's new album. Not only has she attended recent shows, but Lance was pregnant during all of the recording sessions. I hope she likes it when she's older. She was there the entire time, really, she says. I hope she's not like all those songs no more. You may like.